Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Hello, friends. My name is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's, and welcome to my page. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Hope you had a wonderful and blessed weekend. I hope you were be able to uh, spend some time with your family and friends. Come on in. We have a new project we're going to do today. We're going to do a resin pour for a cake stand, guys. This is pretty cool. So come on in. If you're new to the page, please just let me know that you're new so we can say hello. Hello, Denise. How are you? Ah, uh, yes, if you're new to the page, please just let us know that you're new so we can say hello to you. All right, I'm so excited today. We're gonna do a resin pour and we're gonna be creating a cake stand, guys. Okay, so let me show you what that all entails. Hello, Monica. Hello, Sandy. How are you? Thank you, Pamela, for coming on. And guys, if you want to do me a big favor, get those hearts going like it's 4th of July so our fancy friends that are not getting notifications can... Um, come and join us so anyway all right so we're going to be doing i saw this i was just floating around in amazon land the other day and i saw this on amazon and i thought how cool would this be to do for project thank you for the hearts everybody hello monica how are you thanks guys i so appreciate it i so appreciate it all right so let me show you what you get when you order this cake stand um you get molds to put the resin in. So what are these? I'm going to show you right now. So this is a mold. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Hello, Pamela. Um, this is a mold, guys. Can you see? There we go. So there's the lip of the mold. Can you see that? And it has this little um, raised little thing in the, in the uh, center of it. And what that does is, okay, this is the larger one. We have a middle one and a, and a smaller one. So if you imagine a cake stand, one, two, three. Okay, then it comes with, look how cool. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Sharon. It comes, so when it's all done, you have your hardware to put your cake stand together. Wow, is that cool? Hey, Sharon, I'm so glad you're here today. Thanks for popping on, I appreciate it. So, I mean, look how cool. Now, if gold is not your jam, you can paint this and you know, get it any color you want. You can paint it white, you can paint it black, whatever. Hello, Linda, how are you? So it comes with all this stuff, one, two, three, you put this on the top, and then you put your cake stand together because it has this in the middle, right? You gotta make sure you don't put your resin on there and then you can put it together. It's gonna be really cool. So let me show you how it's done. So I don't wanna lose any of this. So if you're interested in checking what checking this out, I do have it on my Amazon page under um, crafting supplies, guys. And the link should be right down below. Yes, everybody, I hope you had a nice weekend. Oh, I had a busy weekend. We had Friday was my niece's graduation. And then Saturday was Mr. Fancy's birthday, and we recuperated on Sunday. <laughs> two things, two days in a row, it's a lot. So, but it's, it was wonderful. Uh, we're blessed that we were getting to spend some time with our family. Hey, Debbie, how are you? All right, so what I'm using today is my favorite stuff that I love to use to do my resin pour. There we go. In... Verotech light now it comes in smaller containers guys but um it's cheaper if you buy if i buy by the gallon i use a lot of it but they do come comes in smaller can you read it there we go envirotech so that's the one that we're using today it's just like when you do your regular molds like um your amazing casting resin it's equal parts so we're gonna pour that but um oh actually yeah let's put the flowers in here first okay so I did two ahead of time, guys, right here. If you can see, just so I can see what's good and what's not good, okay? So a couple, a couple of things. Put stuff that has color in it. I found, you know, I like my creams and my ivories, but if you put a lot of those tones into it, they don't show up as well. I put a white flower in there and you barely can see it. All right, thank you, Edith, for the blessings. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Also, your things, your flowers, whatever you're going to put in there, they need to be flat. All right. I put a flower that I thought I flattened enough and um, it's still popping up. It's still, it's not, it needs to be flat, 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 flat. But oh, this is going to be okay. It's going to be for me and um, I'm not going to mind it. But you really need your things to be flat. So because of that, I had these flowers. Now these are Tim Holtz. Um, 
you've seen these before. If you shop Tim Holtz, they come in a package of all different um, flowers. They've got um, butterflies. Um, you must have seen them. They have this in Hobby Lobby or even I think Michaels carries them. They have all beautiful flowers, stuff like that. Um, so that's what I decided to, because they're all flat. Um, that's what I decided to put in there. Most of my flowers that I have are, they, you know, they're not flat. The only ones I did have that were flat, but it was too late because um, you want it all to be the same when you're doing a cake stand. This would be great. Look at that. Paper Studio, right? Look at those pansies. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? And they are flat. So I'm going to be doing something else with those because let well, before I show you, I got something else too. This is a cake stand. What they also have, if you're not interested in doing a cake stand, look at this. It's a tray. Look at that, guys. You can make your own resin tray. Isn't that so cool? And then look. It even comes with the handles that you put in. So my thought was, after I found these, um, and then I found this in the bottom of my stash, wouldn't that be pretty, a pansy one? So we're going to do the pansy one on this one. Not today, on another day. Now, I'm, I'm sure if, you, if these kind of handles aren't your jam, you can paint them before you put them in if you're, if you're not a gold gal. Or get any, you can go to Hobby Lobby. And I guess as long as your, this piece is, you know, where you're sticking in, you have enough room like that, you can get any kind of handles you want. So um, FYI. But I, so anyway, I got these on Amazon and... Look how, this is going to be really cool. So I got the cake stand and I got the tray. So I just wanted to show you both. You know what would be cool for a cake stand? If you have somebody's birthday, if you've got a kid's birthday or something like that, and you can make the cake stand and get all paper goods and stuff like that and put that in there and pour the resin on there, and then you have a cake stand that um, is the theme of the party. Ah, wouldn't that be fun? You have a 50th birthday, a 60th birthday. You can find the number 60. And long as it's flat, isn't it? That's what I'm finding out. It needs to be flat or otherwise um, it doesn't, because the lip is only, can you see the lip is only that big. And if it's, if it's any higher than that, it sticks out. All right. So there we go with that. Now these probably would work because I have these, see these little ones, they have a little teeny, they might work because they're not that thick. So anyway, but we're going to go with these today. I'm also going to be putting in guys, look, gold leaf. I purchased this, got these, uh, I got these on Michael's, guys. And I got the gold, and this is copper. But to me, it's coppery rose gold. I don't know. But we're going to use the gold today. We're going to put some gold leafing in there. It's going to be beautiful. Hello, Rita. Hello, Norma. Hello, Jay. If you're here, say hello to me so I know you're here. I'd love to, I know some people say they just lay back and they just like to watch. That's another tip, FYI. If I'm not, if you're not getting notifications that I'm coming live with you, is if you do not say hello or just give it an emoji, Facebook doesn't think that you're really caring about what you're saying. And, and that's not just, uh, just if you're watching me, um, but if you say, if you make a comment or something, then they're more likely to put you, put me in your feed or whoever you're watching if you say hello. Hey, Jane. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Norma. Hello, everybody. All right. So you want to just, I'm just going to see what I got here. Um, actually, we don't want to put a daisy. I'm going to go with more with my rose theme. Look how pretty, guys. So let's, ooh, this one's pretty. Look at this. Where did you buy the clear round molds? Um, from Amazon, Bonnie. If you look down below is my Amazon store. Open up that link. Go right into crafting supplies. You should see it right there. And you'll find them. It'll find it right there. Right on Amazon. Uh, there we go. I try to put in the link just for this. So you guys didn't have to go through Amazon. And then right into the finding the crafting supplies. But it wouldn't work. I don't know. So whatever. But just, just hit that button. It'll take you right to my Amazon store. And you, you'll find it. All right. So let's see. I'm just trying to find some really pretty roses. Oh, isn't this pretty, guys? Look at this. Hey, Carol. And we got Vincenta. And we got Debbie. Thanks, ladies, for joining me today. I hope everybody had a blessed weekend. Um, it was a fun weekend with Mr. Fancy's birthday and uh, we had and my niece's eighth grade graduation. I'm telling you. Um, the kids are growing up faster, so fast. Oh my gosh. We have no more babies in our family anymore. No more babies, no more grandchildren yet. Um, all, all grown up kids. I know high school, she's going, going to high school. I know that's not grown up, but it's just uh, no more babies. All right, so then what I like to do is I like, you can, I have these little 
I have these little, got these little leaves. I thought maybe that would give it a little bit of interest in there. Long as it's flat, it's just got to be flat, guys. Um, you can put that in there. Just thought a little, little bit of leaves in there would be pretty. And what else do I? Got? Oh yeah, I have these little leaves too. So let me put those in there. Hey, Carol Davis. Hey, Mary Lou. Thanks for coming on. And then I got these little leaves. If there, I know there's, and I need to go. I, I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in forever. Got to make a Hobby Lobby run. And I need some, um, I need to go to the paper, paper, paper craft section where they have the really flat flowers. There we go. All right. So you just position your flowers where you want them. I think that's going to be pretty. Did I put this upside down? No, it doesn't really matter. It's the same. All right. There we go. All right. So that's all ready to go. I think one, two, three, four, maybe um, they say... Don't really put things in even numbers. It should be odd numbers. I don't know. Who, who are these they that make up their rules, right? <gasps> things look better in odd numbers, they say. Who are they? Oh, oh, wait a minute. What have I got? Let's put something like that in there. Maybe, yeah, there we go. That might be, let's put a card in there. Yeah, there. Oh, I'm glad that was in there. That's going to be pretty, just sticking out like that. There we go. Ah, okay, let's see if that works. All right, so let's move this out of the way. Okay, so now let's pour our resin. All right, so remember, it's equal. Let's move that up a little bit. It's equal um, amounts. So it doesn't matter, you know, what, how much you're pouring, whatever, as long as it's equal amounts. All right, so we have this. And then the gold leaf goes in afterwards, guys. All right, so remember, you don't need to buy the gallon like this. Hey, Jacqueline, how are you? Um, I just do been doing a lot of these, so it was more cost efficient for me to buy by the gallon. So, okay, EnviroTech, remember. Oh, actually, guys, this stuff, Enviro, the one I'm using, make sure I'm saying it, EnviroTech Lite. Michael's has it 30% off this week. Oh, you know, I always try to tell you if there's a sale, 30% off this week. So if you want to try a resin, um, you know, they have the smaller size, but they're all 30% off. So um, go get it when it's on sale. That's why I got this big one, because I got 30% off, right? Good deal, good deal. All right, there we go. Okay, so there's one. I just, I'm just going to want to make it even, that's all. Uh, no, I don't want the, well, could you put it on hot? I'm not sure. That was, that's a good question. Can, <clears throat> it withstands heat. How much heat? I don't know. Um, will it do a hot pan off a stove? That I'm not sure. Um, you probably could try and make something small and see what happens. You know, um, you don't want to try something real big and ruin something that you just worked on. But, um, I'm not sure. I know it's, I know it, it withstands some heat, but a hot, hot pan off a stove, I'm not sure. Uh, but it is waterproof, so you can, um, I need a little bit more yellow. Um, I know it's waterproof and food safe. So, but, you know, heat resistant up to what temperature, I'm not sure. There we go. So you probably can look up the company, guys, and they'll let you, you know, there's probably more information about it. All right, that's that looks good enough. All right, so you want to pour one in and then pour the other one in. And after you pour it, you need to mix it for three minutes. And while you mix it, you don't want to mix it hard. You want to mix it like if you're folding in egg whites. Can I, if you know what that is, folding in egg whites, ladies, um, it's like a gentle fold. Um, if you mix any faster than that, you will get uh, more air bubbles. Um, than you normally get. Now you're gonna get some air bubbles, but that's okay. You get them out when we're done, but um, you get less air bubbles if you don't mix like a, like a mixer. <laughs> so you want it, just fold it in, just like as if you're folding in egg whites, guys. There we go. All right, so that's all in. And then take my handy dandy paint sticks. When you're in Home Depot or Lowe's, go to the paint sticks plate department and pick, you up, pick yourself up some paint sticks while you're there. They come in handy. Hello, Diane. Oh, hold on. Let me set my timer so I know it's three minutes. One, oh. One, two, three. 
All right, there we go. There we go. All right. So, all right. So while we're mixing for three minutes, ladies, let me just tell you about this event that I'm in on Saturday. I hope some of you ladies can join us if you're not busy that day. Um, it's we're creatives for Alzheimer's event and it goes from nine o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night. And I am going to be a presenter in that group. Um, I think I'm going on at 930 in the morning, but I will let you know. And we will be auctioning off um, each presenter will be auctioning off what they make. So, um, Kathy, are you on here? Because I will finally be auctioning something off. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. How are you? We have a fancy friend, Kathy, who co always comes on. And when I'm finished a product project, she says, are you auctioning that off? And I'm like, no, I'm not. But this one I will be. So if you guys can join us this Saturday, it's for a great cause. I know most of you know somebody or have know somebody who knows somebody who's suffered with the disease Alzheimer's. My mother-in-law had Alzheimer's, so um, I know firsthand what that disease is like. And um, boy, if we can get a cure for that, that would be wonderful. Belle, you're never late to the party. You're right on time. Okay, if you could see, I'm just like folding it in like you would do egg whites. Yes, Kathy, this Saturday I'm auctioning it off. <laughs> I thought you'd be happy about that. Hey, Dawn, how are you? So this Saturday, guys, it's just for a wonderful cause. If you can't make it for this Saturday, I did put on my website a link so, um, for if you want to come on with my team and make a donation. No donation is too small, 50 cents, a dollar, whatever you can donate, and it'll go on for my team. And let's see how much money we can um, we can raise for um, that wonderful for the wonderful cause. Like I said, my mother-in-law she ended up passing away from from Alzheimer's, and um, boy, I'll tell you something. Um, it's really it just breaks your heart to see what what happens when you get that disease. Hello, Donna. Hello, Tammy. So that is this Saturday, guys. So from nine to nine. All right. So we're just mixing it. We're just folding it. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate the stars. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. Three minutes. Just like so. You don't want to mix it like, like this. It is a horrible disease, Kathy. It sure is. It sure is, and it just creeps up, you know? When my mother-in-law first had it, you know, you, you thought something was off, and then it just continues to get worse. Oh, that's okay, Tammy. We're, it's all on replay. It'll all be on replay, so. Oh, there we go, three minutes. All right. There we go. Okay, so just get that off. Okay, and then I found out another trick that I'm always doing research on things, guys. I always like to find out um, new ways to do things. And I'm looking at resin pours the other day again. And someone had the idea that after you do it, before you pour it, you take your dryer. <gasps> oh, Vicki, you went through that with your parents? I know, right? Yeah, my husband. And my husband's an only child. Mr. Fancy's an only child, and um, so it's rough, you know, when it was, it was just us, and uh, boy, oh boy, it, uh, it takes a toll on the caregiver, too, you know, so thank you for the hearts, guys. All right, so now we just, what, when you, before you pour it on, if you take your little blow dryer and just hit it a little bit, you can see the bubbles start popping already. Should not be used on a hot plate. Thank you, Jackie. You ladies are amazing. I knew somebody would have the right answer. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> you guys are amazing. I knew you would know. See, if I don't know an answer, I'm not even going to try to. I, I was gonna, I'll tell you right off the bat. I don't know the answer to that. But So thank you for, for letting us know. Boy, Google something, right? You, you find out everything. All right, so just it's just getting some of the bubbles off the top. Don't want to heat it up too much, right? Okay, and now we're gonna pour, guys. Now, when you're pouring, some of your stuff might shift a little bit. That's okay, because you have a lot of leeway time um, to move your things around and and, um, and put them in a better spot if they do move. So don't worry about it. Let's see. 
All right, so here we go. Why I like these kind of cups is because you could bend them just like that and they make a spout. Oh, I'm Milton, I'm so glad you made it. All right, there we go. Now I hope I poured enough. If not, you have so much leeway time. It's not like your regular, um, your regular casting resins when you're doing just molds, you know, for furniture or your projects. So you can just go ahead, mix some more, it's okay. Just remember, you got this little thing in the middle here, right? You don't wanna cover that. That's gonna be your hole for, for attaching your cake stand together. Now, this needs to dry at least 72 hours, guys. So we are not gonna be able to finish this for another couple of days. So maybe by Thursday, we'll continue with this project. But we want, I wanted to get it started, so then we'll finish it during the week. But this needs to set up. There we go. Oh my goodness, I think I might have done it. Just enough stuff. Ah. Okay, that works. Nope, oh, there we go. Uh, maybe I might need a little bit more. I'm not sure. It looks, it's looking, just want to make sure it's high enough on by the rim. There we go. Now you might start seeing your flowers start popping, raising up into the liquid. That's okay. You're just going to take a popsicle stick and push them down. Just like this. Let me show you. Oh my, did I have popsicle sticks? What did I do with them? Oh, here it is. I knew it took it out, okay? And then, see, I see this little leaf right here. Can you guys, can you, guys, can you see? There we go. There we go. All right. And you just press it right back down if it's starting to pop up. And a little bubble, when you press the flower down, you might see a little air bubbles popping up. Just take it with your stick and bust the air, air bubble. This looks really pretty in here, guys. Oh, yeah, just press it down. Yep, the leaf wanted to pop up. I love the little card in there. That looks really cute. All right, so this is, there we go, there's an air bubble. So you want to go with your popsicle stick and you want to press your flower back down. It's gonna to wanna, to, there we go. And when you press it down, you're gonna get an air, you're gonna see, it's gonna be a big air bubble that's gonna pop, pop up. There we go, and you just want to take it with your Popsicle stick. Now this one seemed that it doesn't want, it's, it didn't, um, it did not pop up at all. Okay, but what you wanna do, ladies, hey, Jacqueline, how are you, sweet friend? Thanks for joining, whoop, I see an air bubble. Um, after about, I don't know, say 30 minutes, you wanna keep an eye on this, guys, because this might wanna pop up again. So in another 30 minutes, you wanna, might wanna come with your, um, your stick and press it back down again. There we go, oh, look at that, there we go, there was an air bubble. So you've got a lot of leeway time. So you just wanna keep pressing it down. So like I said, after another 30 minutes, I will come back again and make sure that it's all pressed down. Okay, so let's now, let's have some fun, let's do our, oh my gosh, my hair's falling out. Guys, part of the way I look, I, it's windy here today, and I was out all day running around doing my errands, and um, I'm a, look a little frazzled today, so part of my appearance. Hey, Samantha, Helen, and Lynn. All right. Hey, Terry. All right, so this is our, this is the gold leafing. I did purchase this from um, Michael's, guys. Um, there we go. And it's, woo, look at there, there we go. Okay, and I just take a little bit and pour it in my hand. Stuff is pretty amazing. There we go. All right. And you just take it and you're just popping it in just like that. There we go. Ooh, look at guys, isn't that cool? Now if you get a big piece, I like to kind of just, you know, just tear it. I don't want big pieces in there. Just like so, and you're gonna be able to move this too. You you're gonna if you didn't like the where where the gold leaf, you know, you know fell into your resin. I'm gonna show you. You're gonna be able to move it. It's not a big deal. You can move this, move it also. 
There we go. Look how pretty the gold looks, right? Hello, Helena. How are you? Or you could just take it like this. Okay, so those that's a big that's a big piece, right? Whoa. You could take it, go like this in your fingers, and kind of get it to smaller pieces. There we go. Look at that. And you, now you kind of got it like a confetti. And you got into smaller pieces. Just like that. Now we need some more, right? More is more. We need a little bit more gold. More, we need a little bit more fancy, ladies. Need it more fancy. There we go. And just put it around. And I'm going to show you what I mean by you can move it. No big deal. You know, if it's if it's falling and you're like, oh, you covered up something where you didn't want it to be covered up, you can move it. But wouldn't these look pretty if you um, had a party for someone and there was a certain theme and you put the theme of the party, the paper stuff down here, the colors to match the party, and then you brought dessert to the person's house and they had the cake stand as a gift, they would never forget you and they would think you're a rock star. <laughs> Tina, you really like the gold? Me too. Me too. If I'm missing a comment, guys, I apologize. I'm kind of I'll try to trying to get my gold everywhere. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. Okay, so here's your stick. If here's a piece of gold right here. What wrong side? Here's a piece of gold right here. Look, and you just take it and you just move it. Can you see I'm just moving this? Oh, let me move that over here. Let me move this here. I'm gonna move this over here. So the gold is easy to move. If you thought, okay, so this is two big pieces right here. I don't know if I'm crazy about that. So now I'm just moving it. And you've got tons of time to work with this. Don't worry. It's not gonna be really setting up for a while. And sometimes if the pieces are too big, once you go to move them like that, they will break up and go into smaller pieces. I'm kind of liking that. Now remember, the only thing is, there's this top right here. See this middle piece? You do not want to cover up that because that's your hole where you're going to attach your um, your hardware to. So remember, it comes with the hardware, so then you can put together your cake stand. So if you just popped on, guys, we're making an acrylic cake stand. Here's the top layer. Here's the meat. This the the middle layer and this is going to be the um the bottom and it comes with the hardware so after it's all set up and dry you can put your cake stand together now the, the rim of it i'm not sure what i'm going to do with the rim of it i might um paint it in gold leaf i'm not sure but we're going to see what we're going to do all right so now i'm just going to hit it with a little bit of my my heat gun to get some of the bubbles out hey rose how are you all right, so now I'm just hitting it with my, if you hit it with the heat gun, you actually see, it's like fish coming up to water where they get the, the bubbles in there and you see that, <laughs> I don't know how else to describe what it looks like, but that's what it looks like when fish are coming up to your tank and, and all the bubbles are like that. I mean, you literally see it popping. But look how pretty that is. And I love it with the little, um, little sign in there. There we go. So you have, you actually do see the bubbles popping, guys. But like I said, what I found... Whoa, hold on. You do not want to do your blow dryer or your heat gun with gold leafing around. <laughs> that will blow everywhere. I lose my gold leafing. Um, but you don't want to do anything that's raised. If you want to put everything that you put on here, you really need to be flat. Because I learned from here. Because right here, I'll show you after it's dry. There's something that's sticking up there, but that's fine. It's for me. And you know what? Lesson learned, right? When you're first doing projects, um, you learn. And so that's what I learned. I tried to I tried to, to mash, mash it, and I thought it was flat enough, but it's not. So everything really needs to be flat. So they have a lot of colors in Michael's of the gold leafing. Like I said, this is really pretty. Um, and that's called copper. But I thought... The gold will look pretty on here. So I'm just trying to get some of the air bubbles out. Now remember, in about another 30 minutes, you want to come and check it again. So you don't want to do this and then leave the house. Because you want to check it because sometimes this will, the stuff will start to float again. Now look at here. You probably can't see. 
There's a piece of gold leaf thing. And look, it'll stick right to it. And let me see. Let's just put it right there. If you lose any gold leafing, it'll stick right to your right to your stick that you've been pressing the stuff down with, and it'll go right inside. You just put it into your, here you go, there's another piece right here. And just put it in there. You don't want to lose any any gold, guys. It's very uh there we go. Let me break that up and let me put a little piece coming over here. There we go. There, that looks great. That looks great. All right, so let me look again. And that seems to be that it's not popping up. That seems to be that it's not popping up. That one never popped up. And the leaves. Now, when it if it has popped up, you will know that you'll see an air bubble pop, you know, come up to the top. You want to make sure that you take your stick and you pop that big air bubble out. See that? There we go. There's that leaf. That leaf keeps wanting to come up. And there's, if I wish you could see, there's a big air bubble when you do that because there's air underneath. So when you're pushing it down, the air comes up. So if that makes sense. And the things with the more colors, the more vibrant this is going to be, guys. There, there's a little air bubble. So when it pops up and you press it down, the air bubble, make sure you get it with your, um, your stick. But things with more color work better. I tried white. And you just can't see it as well. So there we go. Let's put the, the card seems to be popping up a little bit there on the edge. So I'm just pushing the card down again. And don't worry, you've got plenty of work time. There we go. And it looks pretty good. <gasps> Hi, Diane. Hello, Creating with Krista. How are you? All right, so that is that is that. And let me hit it again. Since it, since I touched it again with the um, with the popsicle stick. I'm just hitting it again just to see if there's any more air bubbles that I got from that. Now when you come back in the half hour to do that, um, to make sure that it's down again, hit it with the heat again just to see if any more air bubbles are coming out. But like I said, now 24 hours, you're going to be able to touch this, right? Do not touch it before 48 hours because if you touch it, you're going to get a fingerprint mark in it. And once you got your fingerprint mark in it, unless you want your fingerprint in there, the fingerprint's not going to come out, guys, okay? So just leave it alone. Um, even after 24 hours, just leave it. Don't do anything. I'm waiting 72 before I pop it out of this mold. I'm going to wait. They're saying two days, 48 hours, but um, when I've been doing my um, resin castings, I've been finding that um, 72 hours, I'm guaranteed that it's totally, totally fine. Well, look at these ones, guys. Aren't they pretty? Oh, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, um, like I said, they're not expensive. I think this kit was $12, I think, on Amazon. I think that's what it was, something around there. Um, but what a great gift to give to somebody. You bring little pastries. You bring your tray with you. Put the pastries on a tray. And um, you've got a wonderful hostess gift um, that you're bringing to their house. Thanks, Terry. I'm so glad you like it. I'm so glad. But like I said, if gold is not your jam... This is what they come with. Um, you could always paint this white or, you know, I mean, paint it. You could spray paint it any color you want. But this is going to, like, this is going to be, all right, so this is why the holes are there, okay? So there's the stand. And then the middle one's going to go on top of there. And then this is going, this one right here is going to be the top one. And that one is going to have this on top of there. Just like that. Now we hope it should work, right? But look how pretty that's going to be. It's not going to be gorgeous. I wish it was. I wish it was seventy-two hours. I can't wait to put it together. So it has. It comes. You know, it has all the the screws and stuff like that. So um, I can't wait to put it together. But we got to wait the seventy-two hours. So there we go. All right. So what you want to do also leave it flat. If I went to pick this up now, it will shift 
and it will move. So leave it be. Also, um, if you have any pets around, any dogs that love to be next to you and love to shed <laughs> all over you, don't do it around it, uh, around them. Um, keep it in a, a kind of a, you know, a safe area because anything, even dust, but what are you going to do with dust? But dog hair, stuff like that, it will fall onto here and then you're not going to be able to get out. That's another tip um, I need wanted to give you. So this is going to stay just like that. When I come back in this room tomorrow to do, you know, to, to come back on another live with you ladies, then I will be able to move it and put it someplace to continue drawing for the, um, for the 72 hours. But I'm going to come back in another half hour. We're going to take another look at it again. Make sure that these didn't pop up. I did that with these. Look how pretty, guys. Look how gorgeous, right? Aren't they so pretty? Look. Love it. Love it. Love it. So, um... It's going to be good when, when we're done. You love the flowers? I know. They're really pretty. So, like, these are just, um, these are, these are from Tim Holtz. Um, you can get them in Hobby Lobby. This is, I probably got these in Hobby Lobby. Um, and they come on, like, like, like a zillion of them, you know, for not so much money. I don't know if Tim Holtz is on sale anymore in, in Hobby Lobby. I don't see it, but it doesn't mean that maybe I'm looking on the wrong week, but I don't know. Doesn't seem like they're, they're on sale much anymore, but they have tons and tons of gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. This one, it has a lot of um, butterflies that it comes with, not in even smaller ones too. Let me show you. Um, you can, I wish I saved the package, but they even come with smaller butterflies. I probably should have put a butterfly in there. That would have been pretty. The butterflies and they come in all different colors. There we go. But you know what these would be pretty? Make them for, if you made these for, for every, um, I, oh, I know Vicky's going to be pretty, um, for each um, holiday, right? What's coming up? Fall. Can you, people are already talking about fall. Hobby Lobby is fall stuff out, so I don't know. But you make ones with pumpkins for the fall. You make one for Christmas. Um what the, is that going to be so pretty one for Easter? So, um, cause these are, these molds are reusable. So, and they do sell these separately. So, um, you don't have to buy the whole kit every time and they have these separately. So you already have the molds. You don't need the molds again. And they do have these that, you know, if you want to make more than one, you can just, um, buy the hardware for it. Just an FYI. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Sweet friend. Thanks for joining. <gasps> Hello, Renee. Hello, Anna. Thanks for coming on, guys. So anyway, thanks for joining. Yeah, this is our project. So we're going to see. We're going to wait on um, the 72 hours, and then we're going to put our um, our tear tray together, our cake stand. Or it's a tear tray. We do whatever. You can use it with forever, whatever you want to use it for. And then we're going to also be doing the tray. The tray's going to be really pretty. Now, I don't know if I'm crazy about these handles, but um, we'll see. But like I said, you could try it. Use any handles you want. But this is going to be another one, so you can have a nice, pretty tray. So we're going to also try that one out. Where do you purchase the mold? The mold is, you can purchase the mold on Amazon. Down below, you should see my Amazon link. And it'll take you right to my Amazon store. See it under crafting under um, my crafting section. Oh, you're never late to my page. Never, never, never. And guys, I would, if you could possibly do me the favor, if you are gonna shop on Amazon, um, it costs you nothing extra, nothing extra. But if you could use my link, I would so appreciate it. That's how I, um, I make my money and that's how I get a little percentage of whatever you buy on Amazon. Uh, it doesn't have to be from my store. It could be if you need dog food or cat food or whatever. Because um, that's how I get paid. And, and that's how I get to continue to be here and um, to purchase the stuff that I need to show you all the, the newest and um, the newest creations that I get to do. So You don't see the link, only the information for the stores. Bonnie, oh, I don't know. Maybe they didn't put that in. I I don't know. I put it in. Maybe it didn't didn't work this time. All right, but if you go on my Facebook page, um, you'll see a link tree, and link tree will have an Amazon store in it. Um, or otherwise, what I'll do is when I get off of here, I will 
I will put a link to in in the comments here a, a link to um, my Amazon store. So thank you so much, and I and I do appreciate it. I do see people are using my link. So um, I, sorry guys, <laughs> it's saying I need to. Um, what? Where did you get the flower stickers? They are Tim Holtz. These are Tim Holtz. And they, I might even have these, I might even got them on, they might have them on Amazon under um, under Tim Holtz in my Amazon store. They might be there, so you can check that out. All right, guys, my, uh, it says my battery's low, <laughs> so I got to get going. But so thank you, ladies, for joining me today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so, so much. And I will be on tomorrow. And um, have a blessed evening, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.